Boom, so what's good, YouTube, man? We back again with another video. Today, we're gonna be talking about this Can-Am 2022 Outlander XT model. As you can see, it actually has the radiator relocator kit built in. Um, this didn't come stock, it was added on. But yeah, I'm gonna go over everything here in just a second, but until then, enjoy these few shots. So yeah guys that's the 22 model outlander xt you know what i'm saying it's not an xmr like my 650 um so yeah it didn't actually come straight for mud action it was more so just for trail riding but my dad actually turned this into a, a sick mud bike honestly so i guess i'm gonna start with the wheels so here we have the 28 moto havocs you know what i'm saying with some m12 msas uh, uh these wheels they look good they ride good they're perfect for trail riding you know what i'm saying maybe not so much as a bounty bike but we didn't build a bounty bike we built a trail bike you know what i'm saying so this is most definitely get the job done on the trails and it's most definitely fun to ride but now it's time to hop into the second upgrade which would be i guess the headlights So boom, we got some headlights on here, RJWC, sick headlights. Let me show you with the lows. That's the lows. And I believe one of my highs are out. And this is the highs. I have one out right now. I think this tire knocked it out, but it's okay. So next we had a radiator relocator kit. Um, and I guess I add in the light bar as well, since we're here. We got the light bar and the radiator relocator kit. Um, we added this because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you're going through some mud, this radiator might get clogged up if it stays down below. So I recommend grabbing this, especially if you got a Renegade, you know, or Outlander without it already. Most definitely get that. It'll just make everything a lot better. This bike has never ran hot. So next, I'm actually gonna hop into what's inside the bike because it's some it's some tune-ups in there. We have a CV clutch, I believe, a primary and secondary in it, or maybe just be the primary. But uh, yeah, we got a clutch in it, custom clutch in it. Pulls great, rides great. Eventually gonna put some bigger tires on it for that reason. My 650 actually has the same clutch and I'm pulling 33. So yeah, most definitely gonna see what happens soon. That'll be in another video though. Let me know in the comments what you guys wanna see. And we actually have a two inch lift kit, high lifter. Um, It's only just these right here. You know what I'm saying? Not very much, which it, it gives it a nice little squat. And I love the high lifter sign in the back. It just goes well with the bike, makes it sit real nasty. So next, guys, we're going to go into the Yoshimura pipe. Very nice. I'm going to let you guys hear it real quick. And we're probably going to finish out this video inside. It's getting hot. So yeah, guys, that's basically everything on the bike. And um, I think I for forgot to mention, but it's also got a dyno jet tune. It's just plug-in. Uh, the plug-in isn't on the bike itself because you can actually just download it into the bike's computer system. You know what I'm saying? So uh, we did that and we keep the dyno jet. Uh, it's in the house or we bring it to the rides with us. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, guys, I think that's about it on that bike. You know what I'm saying? saying just make sure you guys like comment and subscribe i'll be out with so much more content you know what i'm saying i got a lot of time on my hands now so uh most definitely gonna be getting more creative with my content make sure you guys like you know what i'm saying leave a comment what you want to see make sure you subscribe to country kenny you know what i'm saying and i'll see y'all on the trails peace